para que cada um, fazendo o dever de casa, comprometido em fazer o desenvolvimento sustentável no seu próprio ambiente, nós lideraríamos, por exemplo, um grande processo que nos levaria a uma governança ambiental transversal, com os instrumentos econômicos para financiar esse novo desenvolvimento, entendendo a sustentabilidade não como uma maneira de fazer, mas como uma maneira de ser. O ser sustentável do século XXI terá que ressignificar essa experiência do consumo pelo consumo, do dinheiro pelo dinheiro, que sacrifica os recursos de milhares e milhares de anos pelo lucro de apenas algumas décadas. If you ask me what a green economy is, what an inclusive green economy is, it is to take the next step. We talked about three pillars of sustainability for a long time. But for me, green economy is to say this is not pillars, this is a DNA. We should take the three pillars and weave them together and understand them as a real DNA. So if, if you lose one side, if you lose the social side, if you lose the environmental side, If you lose the economic side, you will get an even larger bill in the other end. You will not have a sustainable path and you will be paying in the long run. It is a quotation from Camila, I think, that best encapsulates why we need the SDGs. So allow me to quote from her paper. With a single shared planet, collective decision-making is ever more urgent. And it is about that collective decision-making at all levels that the SDGs are about. The antagonistic relationship that typically exists between the authorities and the informal settlements and enterprises is not really necessary. The better, the, the better organized workers within informal economies, better organized residents within informal settlements, more receptive and better organized government agencies could do an enormous amount to turn urbanization into the basis for a fairer and greener for fairer and greener economies. The cities are a microcosm of nations. Uh, they are closer to the electorate. In a way, they are easier to... Mayors can react faster than prime ministers. So in that sense, uh, cities are also an interesting testing ground of, of all sorts of um, approaches for the nations uh, at, a, at a broader level. So I think also in that sense, what, what we have not just heard, should show a, a serve as examples to the higher politicians. How to move forward in the context of Africa, and I think that is also valid in the other contexts. The fundamental key question are how we will be able to stimulate the political will and vision. Without that, it's not possible to go anywhere. And then the second question will be, how we'll be able to orient our institution to deliver that vision? It is not disregarding which uh, is the point of departure. And then the third element is access to resources to support that transition. All kind of resources from the local, from global, from institution, for human and different aspects. And then the last one is essential, is critical, and this is where we have not been able to make any big step. Our ability to link the short-term imperative with the long-term necessities. We have begun to invent that way of bringing about Agenda 21 a million times across the planet in the last 20 years. But, and I think this is where I come back to the themes of this conference, unless we can also address the fundamental conditions under which our societies, economies, nationally, locally, but also globally, function, we will remain pioneers, we will remain laboratories, we will remain uh, the aspirations of uh, what could be done. And that's why I think the themes of this conference, ironically, are extremely timely. The economy won't change unless all corporations behave differently. And if the economy doesn't change, then we can forget the goals of sustainable development. Because if we want improved human well-being, if we want increased social equity, 
if we want reduced environmental risks and if we want less ecological scarcity, we're not going to get that by having today's corporation, that is the brown economy corporation, driving a brown economy. You can't have an economy which is pointing in this direction and the goals of sustainable development in the opposite. What we have learned is that, uh, that there is a compelling case, a business case, for sustainability. Um, if we look at those of our brands that are starting to put um, sustainability into their propositions and into their innovation, innovations and products, they are growing faster than the rest of the company. So whereas Unilever, for example, grew well last year, small and mighty concentrated laundry detergents or Lifebuoy soap um, grew at double digit. What we've learned is that for, uh, if we want to take an approach which embraces the whole value chain, that collaboration is as important as competition. Competition in the 20th, 20th century has been the driving factor of businesses. And I believe that in the 21st century, if we want to uh, solve some of the complex um, problems that face us today, that businesses, academics, NGOs and governments truly need to partner together. And we need to engage in a very cooperative way with consumers, with ordinary people to find those solutions. I don't know how many of you would want to board an aeroplane if you knew that the pilot had a faulty compass and he wasn't sure how much petrol was left in the fuel tank. I certainly wouldn't. And yet this is where we are today. Our global economy is being guided by a very imperfect compass a very imperfect set of values and instruments and a pretty hopeless map. As we've seen, this can cause a huge crash and heavy environmental and social costs. Some have argued that putting a price on nature leads to it becoming a commodity to be bought and sold and that it's safer to keep it unpriced. But in a globalized world, Without a price, it faces being undervalued, grabbed, and trashed. So proper valuation of land and forests must be accompanied by recognizing the rights and claims of those who've been living from investing in these resources over generations, as work in Costa Rica has shown so well.